Hi, my name is Jack Soul, and today I'm really excited to be talking about the Hologram Chroma Console yet again. So this is my second video on the Chroma Console, and today we're going to be talking about how to get the most out of your Chroma Console when using it on a pedal board. So in my first video, we talked about the Chroma Console, and I ran through each individual effect on it to just kind of check it out. And the discussion in the comments that I was really interested in was how are people going to use this pedal because it's so deep and there's so much to it that there is so many use cases for it. So today I'm going to be talking about my opinion on how to get the most out of it when using it on a pedal board, but I'd love to hear in the comments how you're using it and uh, how you're getting the most out of it. But without further ado, let's get into it. All right, so the signal chain is my Fender Telecaster into my pedal board right out to my Fender Supersonic amp. Uh, of course, into the interface. So here's my uh, tone, the Kernum Ridge with some overdrive. <laughs> got a nice bit of grit to it so the video is hologram chroma console on a pedal board and why I think that it's an extremely advantageous pedal to have on your board not to mention if we're if we just head to some basic sounds like I love the uh, vibrato and that's fine to just use on its own and even if you wanted to add a reverb to that and because it's so easy i love playing around with the different effects but i think that the most advantageous part of this pedal is i can play around with it and this is just a tip from how i've been experiencing the pedal i find that when i focus on this pedal i always end up coming up with something where else if I think of it as just like another effect in the chain like if I'm using my whole pedal board and I just use it okay well I'll turn on the vibrato then I look to the other pedals on the board for other things which I still think is great but I've been having the most luck finding really amazing unique sounds when I'm just using uh, the chroma console and digging into it and then after I found something I can add a reverb or play around with the J Bliss generation loss or something like that so here's how uh, you dive into presets so I have some set up already all you do is you hold down the foot switch and I have all four of the red presets so Here's my first one, and you heard this tone in the intro video. And it has three effects on it. It has a pitch, it has a delay, and a filter. I think that this is just a really funky kind of groovy sound and when I put the whole sound together um, I can save it 
and then pull it up as easy as that. It's almost like using uh, kind of like you're using MIDI on your whole board, except you're just focusing on the chroma console. So you're tweaking all the effects that you want and then saving that whole sound. So. And then I can add another reverb if I want. So if I want to edit this preset, all now that I do is hold that button down and I can see what I have going on on this preset. So here's the pitch shifter. And like, for instance, I could add uh, this one of the character modules. <laughs> That probably uh, hit the limiter on my recording there. But I find this to be the strongest point of the Chroma console being on your board is that I can be in at my home studio and come up with a sound. And then I can bring that sound with me really easily on my pedal board. So if I go back into it, go over to the second sound so you heard this on the intro song as well so let's check what is going on so i have the swell and once you get to know how this pedal works you can really easily navigate how fun it is to switch uh, effects orders as well and it's super important for this effect so you just saw it so I'll do it again and we'll see which order the swell is important it's last except the fact that I want the uh, tremolo affecting everything <laughs> and i like this one with an extra reverb even though it does have reverb in the sound and the filter as well yeah of course so going back out of it, again, uh, another sound that I used in the intro. It's a very similar sound to that last one, except it's more of a reverb sound. This is just the effect, no extra reverb. I think it's so cool how it cuts off like that. Adding the generation loss. Adding extra reverb. But anyway, as you're seeing, like this video isn't going to be super complex. Uh, it's just kind of going out to show how advantageous I think this pedal is for a pedal board again not to say that there isn't plenty of other ways that you can use it but that is the overall conversation that I really love to see in the comments is just people dreaming and trying to figure out how they're going to use it and what they think it will be effective at so here's uh, one more sound and this one is a reverb into a fuzz Thank you. 
think it just sounds really rad with uh, some reverb on it. But just out of curiosity, I'm just going to go into this one. So that's the current one. And I'm just going to create a new one. I think that that setting has some cool stuff going on, but I want a new thing to fit in that section. So I'm using the Kernum for overdrive. in the reverb and phaser. Yeah, okay, cool, yeah. So it is going backwards, which I think is really cool. So it's going uh, reverb into the phaser. Turn the output level up. Down just a hair. I will say that that's, uh, so I'm really liking this uh, sound and we're gonna continue with it. But I will say that that's one thing uh, that I'm always riding with this, is not only does it want you, does the Chroma console want you to set the input uh, level with each instrument, which is fine, because they make it super easy, but then each effect has an effect volume, which is very helpful, because I, I've, I, I'm usually riding that depending on uh, what kind of effect and how I'm using it. But then it has a maximum output level as well, which I'm usually riding that as well, depending on which effect. So that does become be kind of mon monotonous navigating that. But ultimately, uh, I always find the right spot. But it would be nice if it was a little easier. So to save it, all you do is press the two middle ones. It's already at the spot that I want to save. So you just press the two middle ones again, it blinks a bit, and there you go. So now if I hold this button and go back, we have our reverb thing. And then forward, we have that new sound that we just came up with. Uh, 
That's dreamy. So I hope that this sparks even more discussion about the possibilities of this pedal and you can let me know if you have it on your desk and you use it for production or if uh, you're a synth player and it's working amazing or maybe some context where it hasn't worked for you um i would say for me again that when i'm just using it one effect at a time i don't really seek it out uh because there's so much going on and uh really again if i need a vibrato that's great but it's like i'm not usually in a live context worrying too much about the different effects that it has as much as i am the other effect pedals that i have but when i create a complex custom really unique sound and save that whole preset there's so many cool uh ways and uh, context that I could see me using that in so um, I hope you enjoyed this video I know we didn't uh, get into too much playing uh, but I'm really excited to continue going down the avenue with the chroma console and uh, thanks so much for tuning in it means the world to me we'll see you next time